So the question of the day, should you hire a buyer's agent to help you with your next home purchase? These are my five reasons why you'll want to do that. And the first reason I think you're going to love. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome to Bergen County Homes by Bob Jenis. And in case you didn't realize it, I'm Bob Jenis and I'm with eXp Realty. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. I really appreciate it. So what is the goal of my channel, Bergen County Homes? It's really just to give you guys information about Bergen County, all things Bergen County. So be sure to click that like button for me. Click the little bell at the top for updates. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well. That would be incredible. Thank you so much. All right, we're gonna jump into today's topic. It's all about hiring a buyer's agent. And these are my five reasons why you wanna consider the right person to help you purchase that next home. You know, I get this question pretty frequently, especially from a first time home buyer is, why do I actually have to use a buyer's agent? Well, these are my five reasons why you wanna consider that. All right, reason number one, and I told you, you're probably gonna like reason number one because it's free. It's free to utilize the services of a buyer's agent. You pay nothing to actually have me, if I was your buyer's agent, represent you. The seller actually pays both sides of the transaction. So that full commission split is split between the selling agent as well as the buying agent. But listen, that doesn't mean that you're gonna come to the table and not have to pay anything. Of course you're going to have to pay something. When you come to the closing table, you're the one with the most money. <laughs> you're the one who actually has to have a down payment. You've had to maybe do an inspection, which is always recommended. You have to hire an attorney, especially here in New Jersey, which is critical. Closing costs, which could be two to 4% of the list price of the house. So those are all things that, of course, you would have to bring money to the table on. But to utilize my service, if I was to represent you as your buyer's agent, it's completely free. If you look in the comments, I actually left a link down there of a free home buyer's toolkit. Just gives you some basic information on the whole home buying process, what's involved, things that you can expect, and a great checklist you can use as you start to look at houses, really to check off what's good, what's bad, things you like, things you don't like. All right, let's talk about reason number two, and it's all about fiduciary representation. So what the heck is fiduciary representation? It's even hard to say, fiduciary. In its simplest form, fiduciary is really representing you and your best interests. So I would represent you as your buyer's agent throughout the entire process of purchasing a home. It's my job to maintain your confidentiality. It's my job to understand your needs and wants and make sure that those are articulated throughout the whole process. So the question then becomes, if you're going to utilize the listing agent who has the actual home listing, whose best interest might they have at heart? So some states don't allow for this, but it's called dual agency. New Jersey, Bergen County, does allow for dual agency. And what dual agency means is that if I'm the listing agent and a buyer comes into the house that I have listed, I can actually take them as a client and get both sides of the transaction. Hey, that's great from a commission standpoint, but whose best interest do I really have at heart at that time if I have both sides of that transaction? So if you go with hiring a buyer's agent specifically to represent you, you're gonna get the best price, the best deal possible, the best negotiation possible, because all of your needs and wants are accounted for. It's my responsibility as a buyer's agent to make sure I represent you completely. A seller's agent has the best interest of the seller at heart first. So why not utilize the expertise, the negotiation skills, etc., of a buyer's agent, someone that you trust and someone that you work with. And by the way, it's free. All right, reason number three to work with a buyer's agent is allied resources. So the value that I can bring you as a buyer's agent is to bring you a team of allied resources that are just gonna help you get to that closing table much easier. You're gonna need a mortgage person. You're gonna need an attorney, especially here in New Jersey. It's a requirement in, in Northern New Jersey. And also you're gonna need an inspector or maybe a, someone for a tank sweep. I'm gonna bring all of these people together to help you through the process to give you that reassurance so that you can feel good about getting to that closing table. Okay, here we go with reason number four of why you wanna hire a buyer's agent. It's all about project management. Hey, before I got into real estate, I had over 20 years of corporate experience managing various projects in the corporate world. And one thing that I really noticed when I got into real estate, this is all about project management. 
You need a good project manager who's going to take you through the entire process and help you decipher what are the actual milestones that you need to hit so that you can get to that closing table. You know, there's just so many dates and factors and things that you have to consider. What does the inspection report say and is that going to stall maybe the actual closing date? What if the house doesn't appraise? And if it doesn't appraise, how does that impact the closing date? What steps need to be taken to rectify that situation? So many factors can come into a real estate transaction and again, it's my job to get you through that whole process of project managing you through, getting you to the closing table, really easing your mind to just make it as simple as possible to get you there. Hey, so this is a perfect reminder if you go back down into the comments, if you haven't done it yet, download my free home buyers toolkit. In there is a process document. It's going to show you from start to finish the whole process of buying a home. Completely free. Go ahead and download it. All right, we're on our last reason. It's reason number five. And reason number five is all about your budget. So listen, if I've done my job and I've represented you as your fiduciary, I obviously am gonna know what your budget is. And it really makes no sense to try to show you homes or oversell homes that are out of your price range. So with the time and effort that I put in to find homes for you, I've done the due diligence to make sure that it's really gonna fit all of your needs. And one of the most important needs is making sure that it's within your budget. All right, so there we go. Five reasons why you wanna consider hiring a buyer's agent. And at the end of the day, it's all about representing you and your best interests. A good buyer's agent like myself, we wanna get you to the closing table. Do bumps pop up? They absolutely do pop up, but it's my job to curtail that, to fix those issues as best as possible. So I wanna thank you guys again for watching today's topic, five reasons why you wanna hire a buyer's agent. And if you like what you saw, click that like button. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Click the bell for updates. And don't forget to click that subscribe button as well. Thanks so much for watching Burton County Homes. I'm Bob Jenis with EXP Realty. I really appreciate you watching and we'll see you next week with the next video.